Well, the James Webb Telescope is aimed to go beyond what Hubble does uh, by looking at things that are farther away or fainter or redder than what Hubble can see. Uh, so we can look farther back towards the beginning of time. We can see inside dust clouds where stars are being born today. Uh, we can study uh, planetary systems as they're being made uh, and as they change with time. So all of these things are uh, territories which Hubble has opened up, but which uh, we can tell we don't know enough yet. And uh, the great opportunity is to go to, into the infrared. We learned a few lessons from the Hubble. One is that uh, wonderful equipment will make wonderful discoveries. Uh, and so we knew uh, right away when Hubble was working that we had to plan for the fun thing to follow. Uh, we also learned about focusing uh, and the uh, particular mathematics that were developed for the Hubble repair uh, are at the heart of the focusing technique for the James Webb Telescope. So we will carry our motors on board and we'll be able to focus after launch. Uh, scientifically, we learned that, um, that Hubble is wonderful but not quite wonderful enough. There was stuff just beyond what the Hubble can see that we really want to be able to pursue. So the first galaxies, the first stars, the formation of stars today, uh, the evolution of planetary systems, and even now, uh, which we didn't know we could do, uh, the hunt for, for atmospheres of planets um, through the transit technique and through direct imaging. Uh, Hubble has shown us that we can do that, and so we want to pursue that as far as we can. Well, if uh, Webb is a great success, then we will have answered some questions in all of these areas. Uh, basically, they're all about the beginnings. How, how did the universe begin? How did stars and planets get formed? Eventually, uh, how did it become possible for Earth to support life? We have some ways to get at that with the JWST. Uh, one of the uh, wonderful surprises could be if somebody finds us a nearby star with planets like Earth, that we will begin to learn something about them and uh, uh, try to improve our techniques and learn uh, about the atmospheres of those little planets. That would be very exciting. Well, the Europeans have decided to contribute uh, uh, quite a lot of our, of our payload. Uh, one of the instruments is theirs, uh, half of another instrument is theirs, and uh, the launch vehicle is theirs. So uh, altogether it's a tremendously important contribution and has enabled us as a team to pull together the work of the best and brightest scientists and engineers around the world to do this. Oh, a favorite Hubble discovery. Um, I think the beautiful pictures of the dust clouds uh, that are on everyone's desk are so amazingly beautiful uh, that they say, well, can we have some more? And so, um, as a scientist, I look at that cloud and I say, that cloud's beautiful, but it's hiding what I want to know about. So inside that cloud are stars that have been born recently or stars may be about to be born. And uh, it tells us right away that we need to use infrared to see inside those clouds. So that's the sort of the, the thing that I think about the most from the Hubble.